Hi everyone, today I told you this week that I was gonna make another homeschool video and today we're gonna be talking all about reading and the things that you can do or the resources you can use to teach your child how to read. Um, in the meantime, Gage is gonna make some Dr. Pepper meatballs and we'll come back later and check out how them turn out. But let's get back to what I wanna talk about today. So, okay, so like I was saying, there's gonna be some changes possibly to YouTube. So if anything goes through where you guys aren't seeing my videos, just go over to my Facebook page. I have a page called 10 Kids in a Garage and I do more updating on there, more personal stuff, a lot of like, uh, retail stuff to that um, like Fat Fit Fun, Ipsy, and that go along with my videos. But um, if, yeah, like I said, if things change, you're not gonna be able to do some certain things with uh, communicating back and forth with our videos and comments and liking, and there's gonna be a bunch of changes, but I'll keep you guys updated on that. Otherwise today, I just wanted to make sure you guys get um, the information that I wanted to put out with how we teach our kids reading. Um, I just wanted to explain also that when I first started out homeschool, Blaine and Victoria um, already went to school. So Victoria was in sixth grade and Blaine was in third grade. So they already went through the whole initial reading process and being taught how to read. So when I started out with Gage and when he got to that age, it was all brand new for me, so it was, um, I kinda needed to start from the beginning with him. So over the years, I've collected a lot of resources to help teach the kids how to read and learn that each child is different and that we had to, had to use just different things to kinda, you know, change the way each child learns differently. And I wanted to kinda show you some of the stuff that I have that I've been using and some of the things that I like, some of the things that, you know, we kind of just let off to the side and we ended up not using very often. Um, but other than that, we'll get started and I'll show you all that. And today it's not going to be really like a sit down homeschool. Some of the videos that I've made in the past, you guys saw like some of the kids working on stuff. And I do want to get back to doing a little bit of that where we're going to sit down and, um, the kids are gonna show you what they're doing in math, what they're doing in reading, and we'll get back to that. But otherwise, the days that we did, or the videos that I did in the past, were based on um, like their day, just their day in homeschool. So we'll break that up in other videos, and that'll be in the future videos. But in between, I'll do um, homeschool, like weekly, bi-weekly, and then I was also saying in my air fryer video that I wanted to start doing recipes on Fridays. So we would do some videos, uh, hopefully uh, like every other Friday I would do a recipe. We'll see, we'll see. we've been having a lot of fun with the air fryer and the Instant Pot. So we'll give you guys some extra recipes and fun things with that. And then if I have like unboxings and stuff, that might just be like an extra video. You'll just have to keep coming back to my channel or don't forget to subscribe because if you subscribe and hit the notification bell, then you guys will get notified every time that I Get, uh, upload a video. I'm on Instagram and I post a lot on there too, but otherwise my Facebook page, 10 Kids in a Garage, I upload or I let you guys know that I have a new video on there if you're not getting my notifications. But if you subscribe, then you guys know that I will, when I'll be putting videos up there and then you guys will get notified if you hit the bell. So don't forget to do all that and then, um, like I said, on Facebook, I do a little bit more personal stuff. I do more like fun pictures and on Instagram, I do more family pictures too, as much as possible. And this week is Thanksgiving. So on Thursday, we are gonna be doing a Thanksgiving special video, which will be up hopefully by the weekend. I'm not sure, um, Saturday, Sunday, but my older two children are coming home and the grandkids are coming home or coming over also and we'll be celebrating Thanksgiving and my mom is coming over on Thanksgiving and we have some crafts and stuff for the boys that my mom picked up that they can work on while we're cooking. And other than that though, the boys are, twins are over here playing, um, what are you guys playing? Christmas go fish? Yeah, no, no, Christmas matching. Oh, well, you're changing it up. You're doing the Christmas matching. Cause it was, it was 
kiss her. Uh, it's not. It's goldfish. What? Yeah. It is okay. Goldfish. So they're going to play over there. Gage is going to cook. I'm going to try to do a video without Evelyn waking up because she's taking a nap right now. So we're going to, she's napping right over where I need to be. So hopefully I can get done with this video before she wakes up, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Otherwise I'm going to turn you guys around and I'm going to show you some of the resources and then I'll try to link everything down below if you guys are interested. And if you guys have any questions on anything else that you guys would like to see in our videos, but I will try to answer some of your questions in the comments. Otherwise, if you guys end up in the future where you're not able to leave comments, like I said, go to Facebook or go to Instagram and we can connect that way. I also have an email down in the description that you can email me anytime. Um, other than that, let's get started. Okay, so at the table right now, I have all my references on the things that we've used and are using and used in the past. When um, Gage started, because I was really new at trying to figure out, you know, what worked for him and what was gonna be available at the time for us to use. I'm gonna show you that the um, preschool prep is one that I use all the time. I'm still using, it's from nine months to five years, but you can use it anytime. My older kids still end up watching some of that, but I'm gonna get back to that. Uh, we're going to start with this one right here. It's called Start to Read by um, School Zone. And with this, it comes in three different reading levels. So you have one, two, and three. And inside the box, here, I got to find it quick here. Okay, inside the box comes with a CD. So what you do when learning how to use this program is they would listen to the story first. And then I think it gives you, we haven't used this one in a while, but um, you, okay, so this is level two. And I'm not sure where level one and level three is, and it might be in here. Okay, anyways, okay, so it comes along with a CD. And in here, okay, so it's ages four to seven, and you would have gives you each level in the books. So I'm sorry, I'm talking a little quiet right now because everyone's right next, the door is right next to me, guys. So, okay, so we have level one, level two, and level three up there. So when you look inside the book, it's gonna be very easy, a lot of pictures, very nice like illustrations to what the story goes along with. So that's one of them that I used with Gage in the beginning. Um, okay, so I'm gonna come back to the preschool prep. This one I talked to you guys about in a lot of my other videos just because we use it quite a bit. So it has numbers, it has letters. So with basic reading, they need to know all their letters first. And then it also comes with sight words. So we have three three CDs with sight words, um, and the ages is 15 to six years, but it's just more like a repetitive thing with these videos and more like entertaining for that age. It also comes with shapes and colors, but you would, if you're gonna just focus on the reading, you're really gonna wanna do the letters and the words for that program. So this is probably one of our favorite. Um, it is a little, can be kind of a little obnoxious at some times because of how like repetitive sounding it is. But for the little ones, they really like that one. So we do use that one quite a bit. Another pack of books that we use. And if you guys want here, I know that I'm gonna show you guys like all the resources that I'm using for reading, but do you guys want me to like have a sit down with reading? Like I was saying with the other curriculum, like sit down, have you ha show you guys kind of like what I would do to teach them how to read. If you want me to do that, let me know too and I can do okay, that. Okay, another set of books like I was saying that I really, really like are the Bob books. So there's two different le 
levels. There's pre-reading skills and beginning reading skills. And I think there might be, see there's a couple other sets and we ended up never getting any more, even though I really, really like these books. So I will open this up and I will kind of give you an example of how, the, how these books work. Um, they are labeled by certain numbers. So this is book one and it's very repetitive. So for the begin, I found though for the pre um, reading ones seem to be a little bit harder than the beginning readers. So like the first one had more, um, uh, what do I wanna say? Like, yeah, just more words in the books versus the um, beginning readers. So I think you would probably start out with the beginning because it's like, okay, Matt, and then Matt, and then Matt sat, Sam, and then Sam sat, Matt sat, Sam sat. So you see how basic that really is? This is really good. So like Declan being in um, first grade, this is good for, um, Nash and Lachlan aren't quite in kindergarten yet, so, but they would probably catch on to the, the Bob Jones ones pretty quick because they're, um, kind of at that level right now where they're really focusing on wanting to learn. Um, another good one is Fun Tales. This one I got from my sister-in-law, like, when I first started homeschooling. So if my sister-in-law is watching, Hopefully she knows that I still have them. I never ended up giving them back to her, but we do like using them. I'll show you what them look like. These also are numbered in order, so you would wanna start in order. And I don't know, I'm sorry, I didn't have that put together for you guys to have them in order, but it's kind of like the Bob Jones where they start out pretty basic and then it's pretty repetitive. And then when it moves to the next book, they try to keep everything like tied together from the last book um, just to keep everything from for them to remember what they read in the last one now with, when I teach the kids how to read I don't always like I'll teach them how to read the book and they'll kind of work on that book for the rest of the week if they don't get through it right away so that was that one another good resource and I think everybody knows this is flashcards so your basics you we've used them so they're pretty ripped up right now but um you can go to a dollar store you can go to family dollar you can go to walmart amazon everybody carries you know your basic alphabet um flashcards so that's another good thing and then you can teach them letter sounds also with your flashcards so you don't need anything special or expensive to teach them um the basic part of reading i know a lot of people be like well that's not really reading but it is reading because if they're able to read their letters and they learn how to read their letters so that's one that um that's something that we would be using also another thing um that's a good resource is your um sight words and sight words and flash cards what I ended up doing is getting these off of Amazon last year when I was going through on the things that I needed to get for homeschool this year. We have one kid that's struggling with reading, so I wanted to be able to pick these up, and I found them on uh, Amazon. I was so excited. Um, and honestly, I haven't even been really using them, and I need to because the twins would do really, really good with... Um, reading these or start reading these uh the twins are four but they're pretty one of them's pretty advanced into wanting to learn how to do more things so he would um benefit from these uh miles would benefit and um declan would benefit so right now in the house we have first grader we have a uh, third grader, we have a fifth grader, we have a seventh grader, and a ninth grader in the house right now. So some of the kids weren't able to use these because I just got them. So that's that. Evelyn just woke up, so Gage is going to hold her while I finish up the video. Another thing uh, is a good 
something and just like more of a fun thing for the kids to do because I know sometimes with reading with Miles, he has he has an issue more with like it's not fun reading isn't fun for him so he doesn't want to try so if you can tie in games and stuff like that that will help with their benefiting in reading and having fun so i'm going to show you guys that this is match together um helps develop develop letter recognition and skills so alphabet puzzle cards so they would just know that the r goes to robot s goes to sled and it's just kind of a puzzle thing that they can have to recognize um picture wise so that's not really like a reading thing but it's more of an alphabet thing where they can comprehend what letter goes to like a pic a picture so that's another um fun resource for them to play around with at the dollar store if you guys are interested or hobby lobby they always have school zone books and i've gotten some of these for a dollar at the dollar store and declan is going to be the one working on this one so what he would do is he would match the uppercase and the lowercase and the little kids could do this one too. And the little boys are able, the twins are able to um, kind of figure out some of this work too. They're just right now working on like their name and the ABCs. So we're doing a lot more of that kind of stuff with them. But Declan is like kind of in our really beginning stage of reading. So this is his book. So here it would be write each set of letters in ABC order. So he would have to know how to put these in order. And then um, being able to figure out what letter goes to each picture. And that'll help him read the word too with the put the letter down and then give him a visual of what the word is. So that's super fun. And then here's another reading book, kind of the same thing. This is something that I would do with him. I would read this and then he would, I would ask him the questions and then it's going to be a reading and comprehension for this book. And this one I think I got at the dollar store also. And then here we got our phonics workbook, um, long U sounds, uh, short U sounds, C sounds, B sounds, you know, your D, F sounds. So it gives you a wide range of different sounds in this book. And then it just gives you a page that they can work on um, focusing on that, on that sound. So that's that. And then another book on beginning sounds and letters and matching um, the letter to the picture. So them are some of the workbooks I have for him. Um, so I guess more of our workbooks is going to be more of a phonics workbook and we usually get rod and staff curriculum and I'll leave all that in the description too, if I remember. Okay. Here's another school zone workbook, ages five through seven, K one, get ready to read in here. It would be more of a, like a comprehension thing. So what are they visually seeing? What goes together? And that'll help with just pictures and then they can read up here and then figure out where they need to put that so that's just another fun little workbook that they can work on um the rest of the stuff that i have oh here are all like reading books so i have a wide range of different ones that we can fall back on for the kids so i'm going to start out with miles's now this is miles's he's in phonics doing phonics and reading in his, oh, let's go back to the first book. First book, he's at the point now where he is pretty good with starting, he's starting to get to where he's more in the back of the book where it's more of a story now, just not the basic, you know, couple sentences. So this is what the first book looks like. And then each, this is through uh, Horizons. I think I got this on Amazon, but I'll make sure and then I'll link that down below too. And then it has each um, grade level for where they're at in their reading level. So you can kind of go off of what you guys know already to start out with. And then, or, you know, just start out with kindergarten or first grade and go from there. And then you can kind of advance them when they need to. 
Um, before I get to most of the reading books though, I want to show you guys these. I told you guys about these before. It's the Southwestern work, uh, Southwestern books. Um, they're college kids that go around to surrounding homes that, and they make extra money or whatever, trying to sell product or books and stuff for, um, <coughs> money during the summer. So we end up always kind of buying something just because we use it for our homeschool. So this is two books. It's my fun with words book. It is, um, A through K and then L through Z. And inside, it's kind of like a dictionary. So even if we're not using it as in a dictionary way, we can just have fun with it and just learn what each word means. And then that'll help them um, comprehend what we're reading to the pictures on the side. They always have like fun pictures in these. Um, I don't, I have another set of books that are more like, science and different things but I'm not going to pull that out today because I just want to show you more of our reading stuff uh here's another pack that you can buy through them my shape book my word book and then we'll talk about that my color book and then my number book so they do have a wide range of different books for learning in their program and then here's the word book it's kind of the same Oh, here, some, we've used this quite a bit in the past, so, um, and I asked questions, what do you like to eat, and then they would be able to answer, so the twins would be able to do this, just because that's pretty easy for them, and then to them, that's kind of reading, because they are ready to see the picture, and then they would be able to visually see the word, and then they have a bunch of words on the bottom that they can practice reading also, so I really do like this program. Um, I think they have a website that you're able to go to and you can purchase your own stuff. So I'll, like I said, I'll just link everything that I remember down below. And if there's something that I miss, can you guys comment down below and then I'll, I'll get it to you guys. Okay. So now for the readers, I know everybody knows that in school they get certain readers per grade level or per reading level that they're at. I have a bunch of different types of reading books or different ideas that you guys can work with. Here's one. This is Sight Word Readers. They're just little books, same as kind of like the Bob Jones books that they can just open up and they're very <coughs> basic sentences. So I got a couple of these, not too many, um, but that can just help with like an extra book that they want to pull out and read. So this would be good for Declan. Um, not really the twins yet, but De Declan would definitely be able to um, start learning how to use them books. And then I have this other um, program or uh, curriculum reading thing over here. Kindergarten, my blind word and word book. So inside, it would give you all the letter sounds and how to sound out letters with, you know, vowels. Um, so the whole book is that and learning how to sound everything out just using the blends, the blend words. And then I can read well. This goes along. This goes along with it. Um, and then you have all the words that they'll be reading in the book. And then here's your story. So they don't, they wouldn't have to read the whole, you know, I guess the whole book because it's just really short stories. This would be good for Declan also. And then I just have a bunch of them. Um, and that is the Abeka book. That's another good curriculum for homeschool is Abeka. Uh, you guys can uh, check that site out too. That one is a really, really good program. If anybody wants to look into homeschooling, a Becca program is good or curriculum. And then Rod and Staff is really good. So uh, I'll re leave all that down below. Uh, here's another. This is like an oldie, 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 oldie uh, reading program. So what is it even? Super, super book, Stories Unique for Purposeful Extra Reading uh, by Joanne Nelson. And same thing, extra like repetitive in each page and these are also numbered in order so that each time you go up in a book it gets a little bit harder and harder so these are super cool to use i haven't used these in a really really long time i we use these like 
gauge and I think Blaine even when we started homeschooling so we started 14 years ago with homeschooling so these are probably I don't even know so maybe like 10 years old or 13 years old I don't even know but they're pretty old okay uh, here's another uh, sight words and stories kind of similar to the sight word and readers so it's going to be the same thing except for they're not labeled by number you're just going to have the words that they need to focus on in each story so blue and down are going to be in the story and then them are kind of going to be their words and they're highlighted down below or in the story for them to kind of pick out and say okay i remember that word so in the rest of my story i know that i'm going to read blue and down that just gives them a kind of like little cheat way to follow on reading so that's another good reading program and I think I like that one too because it does give them a little bit of a, you know, what is going to be in the story for them to read. Okay, another, um, now this is getting into, this is getting into a little bit of what um, I think some of the school systems are using for your starter books. So we got my first book right here. So I got a couple of these. And then um, also the library also carries so many different books too that you would be, um, that you could reach out to and, and do. So this would be my first reading book. This would be something that Declan and Miles could be starting with. And then we have level one. So we have a couple of level one and twos just more advanced um well i guess not not with that one that would be good for miles and declan declan and then level two is a little bit harder so you're starting to get more into a storyline with these and then they probably wouldn't read the whole thing in one day so they could be able to come back to that um then i have level three is right here and now you have the full paragraphs so they would have to um be able to handle doing a whole paragraph and read a whole paragraph so i got a couple of the level three books and then we also have level four and this is something that hudson would be reading hudson is in um what do we got first third fifth grade Hudson is in so he would be able to read these but Hudson was a little bit more advanced he started reading when he was in kindergarten like we didn't even really teach Hudson he just would read things off the tv or books or whatever he was really really interested in books so he kind of took off a little bit faster than a lot of my other kids we've had kids that were kind of behind and eventually caught up but Hudson kind of like grabbed onto reading really really good um some of our books that we have at home are the magic tree house Hudson read most of these um I don't have the other books in front of me but Gage what was the other books that you were reading party boys okay another another set we were doing were or Gage was reading, and Eli were the Hardy Boys. So that was another thing. I don't have that out here right now. He has all that in his room right now. Um, and then here's another one. Mercy Watson. Um, this comes in a pack of six different books. And this would be advanced readers also for kids that are in higher grade levels. So probably like fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, they could reach out to these books and start reading them. Gage right now is on Narnia. He is on his second book. And then what book were you reading before that you finished? He thinks that, what was it? Gregor, Gregor the, Overlander. the Overlander. And I'll try to get all that and put that down below also. So other than that though, guys, that's pretty much um, a lot of things that we used, use now and use still or used in the past. 
with some of our reading uh, curriculum. I guess just start out with your basic um, alphabet and go from there. Uh, Gage is trying to entertain Evelyn so that we can, or I can get this video done, but you'll see her, there she is. She's all rosy cheek because she just woke up. Oh. Iggy, you're all messy. Do you see her? Whoa, that's crazy. All right, so she's just waking up. Um, other than that, guys, if you guys have any questions about some of the stuff that I was using or want to know more about it or need extra help with getting started with homeschooling or maybe you have some other questions and I can help you guys out. Other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next one.